Hello Virtual Space Pilots, Phase 1, also known as the first steps in Elite Dangerous Odyssey, has started and it's rolling out with testing and bug reporting as an alpha should be at this stage. The performance is quite good with a few isolated cases of FPS drops which should have been fixed with the latest patch today, but the testing is far from over and more bugs are in need of extermination. As for us here at Hip Games, well, we are trying to get some credits by performing courier missions, but despite our efforts, we keep on getting in trouble. At first, the content we needed to retrieve failed to spawn, or spawn at a different place than the one indicated by the mission description. We did our part in this and reported every aspect and reproduced the steps we took in order to help clean things up. In the three days of testing, we managed to do one courier mission with no trouble. Yes, you heard me right, just one. But this remark doesn't come as a complaint. Testing is what we do and the more problems we find, the better for the future. As you may know, at this moment we don't have access to any ships. We spawn with a new character and we can travel in a single star system by using the Apex Interstellar Uber slash Taxi Shuttle. A variety of missions are available, some from NPCs scattered around the stations or from the information hub screens found as well in every station. One courier mission took us on a planet outpost that was currently being raided by players. The drones were acting weird, so the groups were engaging with the players and we tried to make our way safe to one of the haps where we needed to retrieve some documents. The ground NPCs weren't hostile to us, so that was a relief. As we got to check one of the info panels to make our way to the right storage, we realized we are located in the wrong building and tried to exit while the commandos were clearing every room around us. We got trapped in the building as the alarm went off and the airlock was stuck. And just to make things worse, the soldiers were acting weird and way out of line. Keep your distance. What do you want? Not so close. That brings me to the next point. Do not point any weapons at them. At least not without proper support. And about the taxi service? Well, it's very nice to be transported everywhere you need for a fee. It would be great to have some interactions available during these travels as some of them can take a long time. Now about the ship interiors, I cannot say much. Just that the ships need more love with interactivity on long travels. Of course, like most commanders, we pop YouTube and watch some videos and news. Check our phone and such, but the game has potential and with a bit of more variety of actions you can take inside the ship, it could reach those bonus points very easy. We also tested the implementation of the track IR with the FPS controls, as for now we are using mouse and keyboard, next up we will test the controller support as well. Track IR is working on foot, but we advise you to pause it during battles, as it makes your aiming very hard, otherwise it's a pleasure to use it. We will continue to test and play Odyssey, and when we come across something important we will make sure to get it out on the channel. Until then, we enjoy what we have and look forward to see more features getting added and a good cleansing of bugs. It's needed. And that's it. If you find our video informative and want to keep in touch with all the latest information on your favorite simulators and games, hit the like button and subscribe. I am Commander Celesti, reminding you to fly safe, and I'll see you next time.